Welcome back to Corey's Corner. We're going to be talking about SEO for web developers today. And this episode is brought to you by thoughtsandfitness.com. Head on over to Thoughts and Fitness and get in shape today. We have premium monthly and daily workout plans all available for only $7 a month. All right, so what is SEO? SEO is the process of getting your um, website ranked on a search engine. And there are a few steps. They're very basic. For SEO. The first is your title tag. This is a basic description of your website. So if you see on thoughtsandfitness.com, this is actually our title tag. The title tag determines what um, content is displayed in these tabs on the browser. Um, the search engine will also look at the title tag for certain keywords and the algorithm will rank it based on those keywords. That is being said for all of our tricks um, or tips. So the next thing you want to understand is the meta tag. Meta stands for metadata. So you want to give it, I mean, let me show you what the meta tag does first. For, well, it's going to rank you based on the keywords in your meta tag. But if you come on over and you search for a website, you're going to notice that there's a little description of the website down here. And that is what the meta tag um, content attribute is for. So you want to give the name attribute a value of description. And you want to give the content attribute just a quick... Um, basically summary of your website and you want to uh, get some keywords in there. There are a bunch of free online tools to figure out those keywords. So I have a fitness website. We're selling monthly workout plans. So I include like get fit, um, monthly and daily workout plans, high intensity interval training, bodybuilding, functional training, and stuff like that. So the algorithm will see this tag. It'll take all these keywords into account by ranking the algorithm. The next thing is your header tags. So these are especially important for disabled people. Sometimes they'll have a website read things to them. For your H1s, your H2s, etc., those will be used to uh, rank your website. Um, those are those are like one of the most important tags for finding for the algorithm finding keywords and then you know weighing those and whatnot. Uh, my fourth and final tip is links. This is why I think everybody should have a blog or a YouTube channel, not only just to make content, but because when you have links everywhere, the search algorithm, uh, it sees those links and the more links it says, the more popular those websites are. So a few months ago, before I had a blog, my podcast wasn't even ranked on, you know, the homepage of start page, which is basically Google. So if you type in podcast Corey's corner, you'll get you know, I'm up there for four right now. And how did I do that? Well, on every single one of my YouTube channels, in my blog, um, on my podcast, I'll just drop links to all of my websites or all of my different content. So I basically, I just open a .txt file. Um, and I also offer this for my clients as well. Um, I'll open up a text file. I'll just have all my links already laid out. So I can just copy and paste those every time I create a new blog or a new video or a new podcast. So that is it for this video. Um, SEO really isn't that complex. It's all about links, title, header, and metadata. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. I definitely hoped, hoped you learned something. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my podcast, my medium, and this YouTube channel. And get out there and code.